Inhabitants of the sector of the Big Pond were shocked after the discovery of a dismembered corpse in two black bags that had been abandoned in two different places in the sector in the woods. The case is still under investigation by competent authorities. At noon, a citizen reported to the National Police the bad smell coming from a bag that seems to contain the corpse of an animal in the sector of Big Pan Lagoon. When the authorities arrived, they realized that it was a lifeless body that had been abandoned at least three days ago. When the CTI arrived in the area, they found another bag containing the body trunk abandoned in another part of the area. The dismembered body, in a state of decomposition, was removed to continue with the investigations that would lead to his death. The body found without life belongs to a male person, however, the authorities have not released any information to clarify the facts nor the origin of the citizen known. The latest news will be following up the case after the competent authorities give their statements on this case. Just a few days before the final vote on the tax reform bill in the plenary sessions of the Senate and House, the president of the third committee of the Senate, Gustavo Bolivar, arrived on the island to explain the benefits of the bill. The senator of the historical PAC, Gustavo Bolivar, participated in the forum called Tax Reform and his contribution to the archipelago organized by the departmental entities. During the event, the senator spoke about the positive impacts of the tax reform on the island. We need an extra fund to bring the excluded and most abandoned territories of Colombia closer to an ideal of progress from the central level. Gustavo Petro has said that he wanted to govern from the peripheries to the center because the center has had an acceptable level of development. But all these peripheries must be accepted at a level of progress with basic sanitation, with aqueducts, with third level hospital, and part of the tax reform would be for the territories. During the meeting, the community expressed their concern about the increase in the price of basic food products on the island due to the increase in the dollar and the dollarization of the departmental tax, as well as their concern about taxes on sugar, beverage, and ultra processed foods. There is a very sensitive reality at the moment, is the price crisis that is hitting the islanders. Because although the tax reform is not relevant here because the tax regime of the island is special, the high price of food is threatening the food security of the island, but above all the pockets of the people. The sugary drinks that would be taxed can be replaced by fruit in the exterior of the country. A soda with high sugar content will cost 6,000 pesos. We tell people in the interior to buy fruit and make juice which is healthier. But here that premise does not apply because here we do not have the produce, fruit and bringing it from the mainland makes the price much more expensive. Senator Bolivar invites the islanders to unite and form a lobby in the city of Bogota whose function is to look after the interests of the island community before the projects that are presented in the Senate of the Republic, highlighting that the islands are part of 10 departments that do not have representation in that collective board. As Mark Andrew Archibald Williams was identified, a man called to answer for his alleged participation in the murder of a judicial official in San Andres Islands, murder in October 2020. The minor portions of the news were provided by the regional director of the prosecutor's office. La Fiscalía General de la Nación. The Attorney General's Office prosecuted Mark Andrew Archibald Williams for his participation in the homicide of Judicial Branch official Ademir Paolo Riascos Edna, murdered in his home located in the Brooks Hill neighborhood on October 27, 2020. According to the investigation, the victim was at his residence with his two daughters when he was surprised by an unknown person who allegedly entered the place to steal. Apparently, when the victim tried to defend himself, he was wounded with a firearm, as a result of which he died shortly thereafter in the healthcare center of the island. Investigative work conducted by the CTI of the prosecutor's office in association with the SIHIN made it possible to establish that Archibald William was the person who was in charge of waiting for and transporting the alleged murder of the murder cycle after the robbery. The defendant was captured by the uniformed members of the Attorney General Office and the police on October 15 at the Gustavo Rojas Pinilla International airport. During the hearings, the alleged suspect did not accept his responsibility
responsibility for the crime of aggravated homicide in concurrence with the crime of manufacturing, trafficking, and carrying of firearms or ammunition and aggravated robbery charged by the prosecutor office. San Andreas and Providence continue to be the number one destination for Colombians. This was a conclusion after a meeting at the National Hotel Congress. According to a communique issued by the Hotel and Tourism Association called Telco, they have already started their meeting activities around the National Congress of the Hotel Industry. They have already held the National Council, of which four hotels of the island were a part. There, topics related to the future of national tourism and its new challenges were analyzed, as well as the occupancy indicators generated by the hotel information system, where San Andres and Providence continue to be the number one destination for Colombians. And the national board was held where the archipelago chapter actively participated in the strategic planning for 2023. Colterco San Andres and Providence is present in the 28th version of the Hotel Congress Expo Colterco, several affiliates will be nurtured with information from international and national experts, with conferences ranging from product innovation through economic prospects and the strengths of tourism developed from the regions. At the inauguration event, four certificates of study from the American Hotel and Lodging Association in Hotel Management were delivered. The benefited hotels were Hotel Incontinental in Cartagena, Hotel Andes Plaza in Bogota, Hotel Zuana Beach Resort in Santa Marta, and proudly registered Hotel Sunset and its manager who benefited from this great alliance in training with international recognition. Today, the country, Colterco recognized as a consolidated guild with a presence in more than 23 departments leading the sector, which is undoubtedly positioned as a basic element in the country's economy. Coralina Environmental Corporation delivers water purifiers to 24 families in the Tom Hooker sector in order to promote the use of rainwater. With this, the entity seeks to promote the sustainable and safe use of alternative sources of water supply. The Corporation for the Sustainable Development of Archipelago of San Andres, Providence and Santa Catalina has been promoting a series of environmental strategies aimed at deforesting the sustainable and safe use of alternative sources of water supply in vulnerable sectors of the island of San Andres. This is a program that Coralina has been promoting with the sectors of Tom Hooker, Simpson Well and the sector of Guinea Hen to deliver to the Community Action Board filters to purify water. This is a way to show that there are alternative sources and promote the use of rainwater to make use of this resource. This is a project created by the Community Action Board that Coralina promotes through a program called Procedas. This is materializing today. This is how the efforts of 24 families in this sector materialize who have received support and assistance from Coralina for the formulation of their community environmental project, which seeks to improve rainwater harvesting practices through the use of water purification filters. I feel good regarding it. I didn't have no, no idea about this filter until I they come and let me know that I'm on the list. So that's why I am here. I have a system, but it is good because I will just fill my water through this and drink it more better for the body and for the health. They come in a good moment because maybe I couldn't buy it, but Coralina buy it and they give me. So then i glad for it and um, I hope that they could give more community to fill the water to, to have a good water to drink. The entity invites the community of Tom Hooker to be multipliers of this experience with residents of other sectors and commit to making good use and maintenance of the input delivered according to the instructions and guidance of professional and technicians Coralina. Two filters will also be donated to the Tom Hooker Child Development Center. At a press conference, the acting governor, Charles Livingston, together with the manager of the Social State Enterprise and the Secretary of Health, informed about the foundation of the renal unit for the archipelago department, which according to them will be at the same level as any other in the country. We have made a big step, a great step towards health. Um, 
we had signed yesterday the, the ASA, a treaty with an entity to develop in San Andreas the, the unit that will take care of the people that have affectation with kidney. So we want to tell San Andreas that in a few months more, we'll have that infrastructure working. We know so that the biggest problem we got in San Andreas, the high pressure and sugar, and then two, then two sickness produce problem with the kidney. We got plenty of people outside they live, and when they outside, they not got the, the support from their family, because their family stay they live in San Andres, and then they live in our next city. If we can make hemodialysis, and if we can make the dialysis peritoneal, but even that when they have dialysis peritoneal, you know, so they can come to San Andres, and they can work it in the home. Sometimes they need to in our hospital and make it. In addition, the manager of the departmental SSE gave the respective guidelines for the equipment of the renal unit that will be open thanks to the loan agreement sign. This renal unit will be at the level of any other in the country. There are 30 machines that will be in the room in addition to two machines available for continuous hemodialysis, either in the ICU or on the floor, plus a backup machine. We also have the capacity to span the number of shares when the demand requires it. We don't have an apologist on the island, so we are going to need one because the one who attends come for consultations and leave the island, and we are going to need to hire one to work directly on the island. We have some nurses with training, and the training should start at the same time in the renal unit is being set up. It is estimated that the renal unit will be assembled in approximately four months, where the supplier with whom the contract was signed will be in charge of assembling the equipment and the necessary rooms and consulting rooms, while the SSE will be in charge of the operating unit, for which the hospital staff will be trained and personnel will be hired if it's necessary. In addition, it is expected that around 82 patients will be treated weekly in the new renal unit of the islands. And for the next week, the Johnny Key Regional Park will be closed to the community as part of the intervention and maintenance process to which they can be subjected every four months. The Coralina Corporation, the entity in charge of the operation of the Johnny Key Regional Park, informed us that the tourist attraction will be temporarily closed next Monday 24th until Wednesday 26th. With a specific objectives such as cleaning and maintenance of the wastewater system, grease traps, maintenance of businesses and commercial establishments, as well as the structures of the corporation itself, this time we are going to perform preventive maintenance quite detailed of this water system. In this order of ideas, we are going to carry out this exhaustive maintenance, change of pipes, and general cleaning of the docks, of the bathrooms. We are going to enable in perfect condition the showers and foot washes that exist in the park. The Environmental Corporation announced that during these three days of provisional closure, tourism providers of the attraction will be trained to improve the experience of the services offered at the site. And today the company Peika announced that it has achieved 100% coverage of water supply through networks. Part of the community reports that the improvement in water frequency has already been seen. The Peika company announced that it has achieved 100% water coverage through the network in the municipality. The desalinization plant contracted by the superintendent sends water from Smooth Water Bay to June Spine and the other tanks which supply two circuits, one to Santa Catalina and the other to Batam House. We usually give people water every seven days. We usually not every seven days we sold and Batam House. No, we did, we, we did reduce the time and we got it now five, five days not and five days sold. In the first days, then, the first, the first to the second days, much people know I get, who they probably get, but after the third day, all who the highway start get water. Both Health Secretariat and PECA carries out water sampling and reports that the water is fit for human consumption. The water is more sure. First time is to just wash, wash with it, use the bathroom and clean. Now, the water sure so you can even drink, cook with it and drink. The goal for 2023 is to send water through one single circuit. However, users must review their connections. If, uh, if you know cleaning system, 
and if your pipe broke outside when you water to come, you will, will drag some of the uh, dirt so you, so you will water to come a little bit dirty. Well, you get water three days, three days straight when you get water and pan that, the water shut off. Right now, no? But I don't know if the whole long, we won't get back water again. Uh, tell me something, uh, the quality of water, how you see the quality of water? You know, you're not quality. Well, the water clear, the water really clear. But I never, I never test it to see if it can drink or not. The company asked the community to speak up if there is a lack of service, as this is usually due to damages in their own connections. Although leaks are still being fixed, most of the community accepts that the continuity of the supply has improved greatly. Students from the Maria Inmaculada School have been without a mathematics teacher for almost a complete period. Both parents and students express their dissatisfaction over the situation that harms them. For more than two months, educational institution Maria Inmaculada has been without a teacher in the areas of mathematics. And so far, the Secretary of Education has not provided a replacement, which is why parents and students demand an answer. Two months and a week, you have to say, the children them not have no mathematical teacher. Since the, the teacher that was here had our baby, we're waiting for the Secretary of Education pronounce and say something. The children them they left home right now because they don't have who to give the class. But here, do have a mathematics teacher. Then do they get the subject because they don't have the teacher. So the children them know I got the right preparation to pass to the next grade because they know they get the classes them. Then just the scraping note because they know they get the class. The parents say that this is not the first time a situation like this takes place. I want to remind the Secretary of Education that it's a right that we pick any them got to have them teacher and get the education complete during the time when they buy the school. This is not the first time this situation present by the convent. The ninth graders have the following to say. Is that we don't have no teacher from Mathematica about two months more or less. And it's very important for we because we soon go from this one high school to our next one. And we have to get early BSM in early Mathematica to get graduate and pass to the next year. The affected persons are asking for an answer to the situation that violates their rights. With news of the municipality, we reach to the end of this broadcast. We see you Sunday at 8 p.m. in Tele Isla's News Weekend. Good night.